let's take a look at probability problems. It is jacket season, and you're thrilled to have another layering choice. Out of your 17 jackets, 10 of them are stuffed with goose feathers. If you randomly choose a jacket to wear, what is the probability it will be stuffed with goose feathers? Simplify your answer and write it as a fraction or whole number. So anytime we have a probability question, we set up a fraction where it's the number of favorable outcomes out of the total number of outcomes. Okay, now favorable does not mean good or bad. A lot of times people think favorable means it's good. It just means whatever we're talking about. So in this case, we're talking about jackets with goose feathers. So the number of favorable outcomes would be how many jackets we have that have goose fe feathers. And that would be 10. Now the total number of outcomes are everything we're picking from, and we're picking from all 17 of our jackets. So in this case, the probability of picking a jacket with goose feathers is 10 over 17. Ashley has a family of eight people. Eight of them are female. If Ashley ran wants to randomly choose one with their eyes closed, what is the probability it will be, what probability will it be that the chosen person is female? Simplify your answer and write it as a fraction or whole number. Okay, well in this case, when we set it up as the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of outcomes, notice they're the same. If she's picking someone at random from her family, if there's eight people in her family and they're all female, well, favorable would be how many females are there? Eight out of a total of eight people. So eight divided by eight reduces to one. So a probability of one means that it is 100% or it has to happen, which makes sense if everyone she's picking from is a female, then she has to pick a female. As a punishment for hitting her brother, Julia must let him choose one of her toys at random. If Julia has 11 toys and only likes one of them, what is the probability her brother will choose a toy Julia likes? Simplify your answer and write it as a fraction. All right, so when we set up our fraction, we're gonna say the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of outcomes to set up our probability. And this notation where they say P and then like in parentheses means probability of him picking a toy she likes, right? That always means the probability of whatever you see in the parentheses. So favorable would be how many toys she likes. Well, she only likes one toy. And then in the denominator or the bottom, it's the total number. Well, she has a total of 11 toys. So it's a one out of 11 probability. It's jacket season and you're thrilled to have another layering choice. Out of your 13 jackets, one of them are stuffed with goose feathers. If you randomly choose a jacket to wear, what is the probability it will be stuffed with goose feathers? Okay, so our probability of getting a jacket with goose feathers, well, favorable over total. Favorable is how many have goose feathers, that's only one. Total is how many total jackets we have, 13. So that's one out of 13 probability. Alexander covers his favorite backpack in colorful buttons. Out of the 11 buttons, seven of them are sparkly. If one randomly fell off on the way to school, what is the probability it would be a sparkly button? Okay, so we wanna find the probability of a sparkly button being the one that fell off. Okay, well, we're gonna set this up as favorable over total. So favorable, in this case, we're talking about sparkly buttons, so be how many sparkly buttons? So there were seven sparkly buttons. Total was the total number of buttons. Well, it was out of a total of 11. 
So that would be a 7 out of 11 probability. In a fruit drawer of 10 fruits, only 5 are plums. Gavin wants a plum. What is the probability he will pick a plum if it is done randomly? Okay, so when we set up our probability fraction, it's the number of favorable outcomes over the number of total outcomes. In this case, we're talking about plums. So the favorable outcome would be how many plums? Well, there were five plums, and the total is that there were 10 total fruits. So we get a five out of 10 probability. Now this we can simplify because five goes into both numbers. Five goes into five one time, and five goes into 10 twice, so that reduces to one half. It is jacket season and you're thrilled to have another layering choice. Out of your 12 jackets, two of them are stuffed with goose feathers. If you randomly choose a jacket to wear, what is the probability it will be stuffed with goose feather feathers? So we're finding the probability of picking a goose feather jacket. Okay, so favorable over total. Favorable is how many have goose feathers? They told us that was two. And then on the bottom or the denominator, how many total jackets? They told us that was 12. So it's a two out of 12 probability. And then we wanna simplify or reduce. Two goes into both two and 12. Two goes into two one time. And two goes into 12 six times. So we can reduce that to one over six. In a fruit drawer of 18 fruits, only five are plums. Gabriel wants a plum. What's the probability he will pick a plum if it is done randomly? Okay, so we're finding the probability that he picks a plum. Okay, so we're thinking favorable over total since it's a probability question. Well, favorable, we're talking about plums, so that would be that there are five plums. For the total, they told us there were 18 total fruit. So his probability of picking a plum is five over 18. And in this case, we can't reduce that anymore. 